This one is called Fun with Veal. If you want the full reaction, early access, link in the description to the Patreon. Also, come say what's up on the Discord. We be there chilling. But yeah, let's get into this. Let's go. Okay, children, step off the bus and form a group next to the nice redneck. I mean, rancher. Hello, boys and girls. Let's all say hello to Rancher Bob. Hey, Rancher Bob. I'm pleased to show you all the wonderful world of beef. Follow me. This is where the magic begins as the cows eat, sleep, and prepare for certain death. They look so delicious. Oh my and god. Here we have the slaughterhouse. Bro! Ah, oh, dude. Anybody want a free sample? Me, 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 me. And in here, boys and girls, we have our veal ranch. Oh. The eyes, isn't it? With veal, the whole key is keeping the cows chained so they can't walk around or get any exercise. That way, it makes for tender veal. Really? Why the hell do they call it veal? Well, if we called it little baby cow, people might not eat it. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Oh, man, look at that one. It looks delicious. <laughs> Come on. Mm, succulent and juicy. Can we have a free sample of these, too? <laughs> no, but all these veals are going to the slaughterhouse tomorrow morning. And then you can buy them at your grocery store. All right. Tomorrow Killer. Morning, we got to help them. Yeah. Uh, I guess they're like vegetarians pending at this point after seeing that. I mean, it would make sense, right? Psst, Cartman. <laughs> No, Uncle Jesse, no! Carter, wake up! What? what the hell are you guys doing? Come on, we gotta go! Where are we going? We're gonna go save the little baby cows, fat ass. They're gonna get slaughtered tomorrow, butthole! Douchebag, you're our friend, now come help us! <laughs> uh, let's see, in the last three seconds you've called me fat ass, butthole, and douchebag. I really don't feel much like you guys' friend. Sorry, friends stick together. Wait, you said we needed him because he has the Mission Impossible breaking and entering playset. <laughs> Damn it, Buttersby, shut up! Oh, so you need me in my playset? Yes, we do. Will you help us? Yes, I will. If Kyle will kiss my black ass. There what? we go. Just give it a little kiss and I'll help. <laughs> Screw you, Cartman! Go on, dude, it's the only way. Bruh. Kiss it. Have Butters kiss it. No, it has to be Kyle. Is he gonna do it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was so awesome! <laughs> Sick, I put it on my face! Wait a second, in Imagination Land, didn't Kyle go through massive hoops to not kiss Cartman's ass? Was it his ass? Or was it eat his balls? Suck his balls? Okay, that's another level. But still, Kyle, bro. Okay, I guess he just shows Kyle's morality. You know, he wants to save the cow so bad he'll save, he'll kiss Cartman's ass. Damn. Okay, very funny, Cartman. Now come on. Hey, I'm not going with you. I <laughs> 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 know about this, fella. It says right here on the playset not for actual breaking and entering. Breaking and entering is a crime. This is Butters. That's me. Yeah, well, killing little helpless baby cows should be a crime, too. Use the torch to cut a hole in the roof. Is that real? What? In a toy set? That's crazy, bro. Mission Impossible, I do enjoy it, though. I actually enjoy that's it. far enough. Talk louder. I forgot the AA batteries for the headset. I said that's far enough. <laughs> Don't be scared, little baby cow. We're here to set you loose. You're free. Run away. Dude. Dan, could you hurry up? I'm freezing my ass off. Can they even move? Come on, you stupid baby cows. You have to get out of here. Damn. Uh, what's the matter? They've never been allowed to walk before. They just don't know how. Too weak to move. I was thinking they were too weak, but I didn't know. I didn't know they'd never walked. Jesus. We'll just keep them at Butter's house until they can get their strength back. No, 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 no. I'll get grounded. Okay, Butters, I guess you're not a team player. We'll bring them to my house. How are we gonna move 23 calves to your house? I don't know. Kill Butters, and then float the calves on a river of blood. Don't be stupid, Carmen. Butters doesn't have that much blood in him. Oh well, yeah, I do too. We're just gonna have to carry them <laughs> one by one. Carry the cows. The veals, rather. When these boys have their minds set on something, they'll accomplish it, that's for sure. Yeah, you guys, I'm calf curling. <laughs> it's on the ice. That's actually clever. You know, everyone should do the same. Man, these calves smell like crap. I don't see how you're gonna hide them much longer. We won't have to. <coughs> Butters said he had something in his house that makes baby cows strong again. Butters had that at his house? Butters creamy goo. Oh, oh, did you bring it? We'll have those poor baby cows in shape in no time. Susie and Summer's oh. exercise. Bruh. What? Make your calves stronger in just two days. That's your plan? Suzanne promises right on the box that it works. Hello, Mrs. Marsh. Officer Barbrady, what can I do for you? Jed here caught your boy and his friends trespassing on his ranch. They Damn. stole some of his property. Are you sure? I followed a calf curling trail right to your house, ma'am. Oh, oh stands in trouble. Let me kick his ass, Mom. I'm sure this is just some kind of misunderstanding. Think again. Stanley, did you see... <laughs> What are you 
you're doing with those calves? That asshole is going to kill them and feed them to people. Please, Mom, we don't want these cows to die. Let me hit him, Mom. Stanley, this isn't up for discussion. He's going to take his cows back, and you don't have a choice. Damn. <gasps> Stanley! Stanley, you open this door right now, or you're going to get it! No! Open this door now! Kiss my ass! <laughs> oh, geez. He said ass to his parents. You're getting in pretty deep, dude. That is crazy, bro. Kiss my ass to a parent. <laughs> If I ever pulled that one out, bro, I would not be here making these reactions right now, bro. I tell you that now. <laughs> Why don't you just tell them that the cows will be safe? I can't lie to my son, okay? If I betrayed him like that, I'd pay for it the rest of my life. Well, that's just too bad. Look, at that's eight hundred dollars worth of veal up there, and I have to ship it out Friday. Bar Brady? Me? How'd I get into this mess? <laughs> what do you mean? You're the police. I'm gonna lock myself in here with these cows until we have a guarantee of their safety in writing. We're with you, dude. Yeah. This is gonna get ugly. You could all be looking at being grounded for four weeks. So if any of you guys want out, just say the word now. I want out. Shut up, Cartman. We're with you, Stan. But yeah, we can't let those little baby cows down. One for all and all for one, except Cartman. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see how you're gonna do it, boys. <laughs> if you don't do as you're told, I'm going to be very angry. Go ahead and be angry, you baby cow-killing bitch! Whoa! Very persuasive. Open this door! Open this door! Let me try. That is... Grounded. Butters, this is your father. Be strong, Butters. You knew it would come to this. Don't panic. I'll tell you what to say. Butters, right me. now. Dad, suck my fat one. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. All right, Stanley. This has gone on long enough. This isn't a game, Mom. We're not coming out until we know the calves will be safe. Well, Damn. that's fine. You boys can just stay in there and starve to death. You'll have to come out sooner or later, boys. The longer you wait, the more trouble you'll be in. Damn. The, the thing is, though, at least they're, like, in there together. You know, it's one thing getting in trouble by yourself, but when you get in trouble with other people, it's like, okay, at least I won't be the only one, you know? We can talk about it after we all got our punishments, so it's it sucks, but it's not as bad, you know? That's what I think. <laughs> she does piss. Over. We made it. Your mom is right, douchebag. What are we gonna do, stand here until we starve? Our parents would never let us starve. They're bluffing. If you hold out long enough, they'll give in. Three of us can sleep while one keeps watch. We'll shift every couple of hours. This is gonna be just like Vietnam, huh, fellas? <laughs> we'll stay in this for as long as it takes. Oh, yeah, they're gonna start shitting everywhere and peeing. Oh, no. We can't get through the door without tearing apart the house. It's been over 13 hours. My poor little poopsie must be getting so hungry. Miss Cartman, this is a battle of will. We need our boys to know that we're not going to cave in at all. Oh, Damn. all right. Let them play their little game for as long as they can. Damn. Of course it's Sheeta that would say that. Um, or Sharon, rather. Especially after Stan said the exact same thing. I was just like, yeah, that's definitely Stan's mom, isn't it? Thinking the same. Good night, fellas. Good night. Good night, Davis. Good night, bud. Good night, Red. Good night, Paulette. Butters, I'm going to kill you. Over <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, are they gonna survive in that room, bro? 29 hours? Someone's gonna be sick, bro. There's no way. Need food. We're gonna have to eat a calf. No, Cartman, we're not eating a calf. Then we're gonna have to eat butters. You might <laughs> fight, dude. Uh, hey. What? Wait, what is that? Food! What are you doing? I just can't stand to see my baby suffer. Oh, dear God, you've ruined everything. <laughs> All right. Now we can hold out for weeks. Beef jerky. And fried chicken. What? Mmm, you're eating meat. What the hell do you guys think we're doing all this for? I'm doing it to save little baby cows. I'm not gonna stop eating meat altogether. <laughs> me either. Yeah, if you don't eat meat at all, you become a pussy. That's fine, you guys can live off of flesh, but I'm never eating meat again. More for us. Damn. You jerky buddy. Dude, that's messed up. That is kind of fucked, isn't it? That is actually just fucked. 34. Okay, at least they have food. I thought they'd become ill. Because they'd starve, but. Mom, I'm standing in front of the house where four insane boy die. terrorists have barricaded themselves in with 23 live infant cattle. Say terrorists. Hey, look, some other kids are doing the same thing we are. <laughs> Here's what some people had to say. I mean, to think this could happen right here in our own community. We gave those <laughs> kids everything, and they turned into little John Walkers. Oh no, this is big time trouble now, fellas. No, this is exactly what we wanted. If we're making the news, then this is obviously important to people. Thomas yes, it looks like the boy terrorist story is not interesting news to anyone. Uh, nothing else was going on, Tom, but people are just simply tuning out. HBC will now be switching programming to puppies from around the world. <laughs> oh my god, I show puppy. Oh, is that the, the response they're expecting? Oh, I mean, they are pretty cute, though. I don't believe it. The Chinese puppy, my favorite so far. Oh, jeez. What's the hour now?
53. 53 hours, dude. Butters, you have your arm around me. Oh, sorry. I thought you were Mr. Pickles. So the cows are eating as well, right? What was that? For a Friday tomorrow. Hippies! What are you doing here? We're with you, boys. Your fight is just. Woo! Dude, those gay ones are on our side? Ooh, they're all dirty. Now we're no good, dirty, goddamn hippies. Damn. Tom, oh. the calf terrorist standoff continues as now members of the FBI arrive to put an end to the conflict. This is getting out of hand. I am, but I don't want to be. We're the negotiator. Glenn Dumont, negotiate a squad. All right, see what you can do. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Uh, I just feel so run down. I've got these sores. Oh. Dude, maybe we should end this. No. Give me a hard line to the phone in that house. It's my job to talk to freaks like this and bring about a peaceful resolution using clever psychology. <laughs> Damn, Hello? okay. Hello, I'm a negotiator. Is it okay if I talk to you? What do I say? Ah, give me that. Talk to me, Meg. I'm here to make sure we can all end this peacefully. Sure, sure. How about we make a trade just to show that we can trust each other? How about you send out one of the calves? Oh, Meg, you're breaking my balls here, Meg. <laughs> just what? That's all we want. How about we give you one calf? Carmen, no! Dude! Listen. If you'll give us some guns and ammunition of our own. What? Damn. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were talking here. Goodbye. No, no, wait. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a guy from Lakewood trying to make ends meet, you know? Just a blue-collar guy like your dad. Don't have a dad, Mike. It's not going to work. All right. Uh, some guns. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> he lost. Okay. Left Whoa. Two. Almost there. What is that? We're giving the boys some guns in return for a calf. You're giving my baby guns? Did you people go to negotiator school? No, you didn't. Hello. See that? My end of the bargain. All right, we'll send out one calf. H how about you send out two calves? There's just no talking to you, is there, Mike? Uh, oh, Stan's really... We had a deal. Whoa. Don't treat me like I'm stupid here. Just send out one calf. No, no, no. Now you're going to have to get us something else. What'd you have in mind? What's he sending now? Is that a missile? Calf. What the fuck is that? Okay, that's good. Low to the right. Really? You're giving them a missile? I've almost earned their trust. Stan's getting worse, you guys. Oh, God. Why is just Stan though? How we doing? Oh, so I'm guessing Stan is becoming ill because he was the only one who wasn't eating meat. According to their logic here, that's why he's becoming ill. I'm guessing because I'm trying to correlate with how everyone else isn't getting ill and that's what I can come to. So I think that's what it is. Kid here, Mike. Did you get the other things for us? Did manage to get the FDA to officially change the word veal to tortured baby cow. Good, good. <laughs> But I couldn't get you north and south Dakota. Breaking my buzz, Meg. Now, now, come out. Get Stan out. Yeah, dude. Right. The boys have promised to come out and bring the cows out with them. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry, I doubted your abilities, Mr. Negotiator. All we need to do in return is get a cattle transporting truck that will take the boys and the cattle to Denver International Airport waiting to take them all to Mexico. What? And they want the guy that plays Mr. Worf on Star Trek to drive the truck. Jesus Christ! You are, in fact, the worst negotiator I've ever seen in action. Get out of yeah. here! Get <laughs> semi, and we'll get them the Worf guy from Star Trek. They'll come out, and then we can take them. But isn't that dishonest? If we don't do something soon, there could be 60 people who have to go without veal for dinner. Are you prepared to let that happen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was woken up at 3 in the morning, told I had to put on makeup and come to this town. What the hell is going on? We've got terrorists making demands and we need your help. All right, boys, we have your truck. And we have an airplane on the tarmac at Denver International. Stan, it worked. <laughs> it did? They got Whoa. in an airplane and Mr. Warp. Pick me up. I, I want to see. Do you want to touch him? Oh, God, dude, he's fucked. That is crazy, bro. Step back. Tell those men to step back. Do it. <laughs> Shut up, you friggin' hippies. This is mad. All right, Mr. Worf, start the engine and put her in gear. Oh, and you must refer to me as Captain. Where am I supposed to drive to? No, see, you must say, Captain, where am I supposed to drive to? Captain, where am I supposed to drive to? <laughs> You're going to back the truck up to the door of the house so we can safely load in the cab. Is that them loading it now? Oh, that? Tom, it looks as though the terrorists are now loading the baby cows into the back of a semi. Okay, Cartman. Step on it, Mr. Worf. Damn. Mexico, here we come. Surely they're not going to Mexico, right? I mean, I'm. I would like to. No, actually, I can't even say that. I was gonna say, would the police have the competence to set the boys up in letting them think that they're going to Mexico, but they just get into like a, a police station or something? But it's South Park police probably even even thought of that, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Wait a minute, they're following us. Full speed, Mr. Worf. Captain, we cannot keep going fast on these icy roads. <laughs> hey, Mr. Worf, speed to 45 and maintain distance from those police cruisers. Stan, we're almost there. 
Dude, he's destroyed. All right, they're in front of the cattle ranch. Hit it. Oh, they had a plan. I doubt it. To be fair, this is the FBI, you know, it's not South Park County Police. There's a difference, you know, they had a plan, okay? I take it back. All right, boys, the game is over. Get out of the truck with your hands up. What are you waiting for? Go kill them, Morph. I'm not killing anybody. <laughs> Some goddamn Klingon you are. We tried. We tried. All right, boys, just stay right there until your parents arrive. Rancher, I got your cattle bag for you. Well, it doesn't matter now. In the 24 hours since the word veal was have changed to little tortured baby cow, the market has gone dry because they don't feel like ordering. Really? Yep, Good point. things ain't worth spit now. I think. You hear that, Stan? It worked. We've shut down the veal industry. Uh, play, boys. Stan? He's, He's very it. lucky you got him here when you did. Advanced state of vaginitis. Vaginitis? It occurs when a person stops eating meat. The sores on his skin were actually small vaginas. If we hadn't stopped it in time, Stan would have eventually just become one great big giant pussy. Whoa, dude. Thank God we stopped it in time. Well, Can't I guess we learned it. something today. It's wrong to eat veal, but if you don't eat meat at all, you break out in vaginas. Hear, hear. <laughs> all right, boys, it's time to go home. You've got some serious grounding time to start. But, but we, we learned things and took up a cause. <laughs> How, but you still defied your parents. Let's get these terrorists to their rooms. But first... Maybe we can grab some burgers. All right. <laughs> so, wait, hold on. so what? Stan just like that is back to like eating meat. Like he's cool with it. Fair play, but I can't believe they did all that with Stan to essentially conclude that he was becoming a pussy. They did all that. <laughs> Here I am thinking it's some serious disease that's going on, but nah, bro. He's growing vaginas on his face to conclude that he's a pussy. Okay, you know. Matt and Trey, they're different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're different, bro. What the hell? But yeah, that was an interesting episode, man. Honestly, I eat meat as well. I have no problems with anyone that eats meat. Uh, anyone who doesn't, you know. It's your choice. Do what you want. It's your body, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, super interesting. Uh, it would definitely change my mind. No change. Like I would have a different perspective to ordering meat if it was referred to what they referred to as. Like... um slaughtered baby cows something along those lines if i see that on the menu i'm just kind of like oh you know <laughs> i'll get the fish you know i wouldn't probably order it after seeing that which is interesting it's interesting how words can change the influence of how you purchase something or do something you know interesting language is interesting but yeah good episode and i'm trying to think of things i could add on to it but not much i can really think of that comes to mind but yeah good episode really enjoyed it. i hope you did too if you did consider liking subbing and i'll catch you in the next one take it easy look after yourself and peace